Hey everybody, welcome back. As you can see behind me, I'm busy going through a whole lot of footage to bring you guys some more forensics episodes. Now, I know this has happened to you because it happens to me all the time. I take my cell phone, I put it in my pocket, I think I feel it vibrating, I take it out, I check it, and there are no calls. No text messages, no emails, no nothing. It was all in my brain. Now, this has prompted medical professionals to give it a couple names. One of them is Ringxiety. The other one, my personal favorite, is Fos Alarm. Now, imagine that moment of sheer terror when you feel that same vibrating in your pocket, you reach in, and there's no cell phone. Where is it? Where did it go? Are you ever going to find it? Forensics case number seven, tracking cell phones. Television crime dramas make it seem incredibly easy to track a cell phone, especially when a criminal has one on the run. But is it really that simple? How accurate does television get? Let's check in with Steven Pearson, CEO of HTCI, to find out. The cell phone tracks you no matter where you're going, and it tracks you all the time. So one of the real uh, things you see on uh, TV a lot of times, where they take cell phone towers, things such as that, and they'll track you along, and you think, well, that's fine, I'll just turn off my GPS location and I'm safe. Well, that's fine. I'm not going to track your phone now, but I'm still going to track that tower that you're talking to as you travel down the road, so I can still do a full analysis on the towers, even if you turn off your GPS location. So, no forensics this time. Even when your GPS is turned off, your cell phone still communicates with the nearest cell tower as you pass it. That's how you're able to get reception from place to place, and also how your phone is tracked. So, television actually gets it right this time, for the most part. So, no forensics. Search begins for the next case, so I'll see you next time.